plays Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, bro. Like, that's just so old school up in this hizzy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button as I lower my, what some people call my dentist chair, <laughs> it does look like a dentist chair, as we climb even higher, the 1,369 nice subscriber level that's right we're at 1369 that's a very nice number i prefer 1337 because you know that's elite for all y'all ogs but hey i'll take 1369 that's nice we're almost at 1400 hope you're all having a fantastic day i am finally back from moffitt cancer center two and a half hours in an mri machine sucks if you've never experienced that before that is i want to say the eighth level of hell probably it's it's a very bad time but we're back uh, everything looks good. I'm waiting to hear back on my abdomen MRI, but I think all my tumors and cysts and stuff are okay. So if you're new to the channel, uh, yes, I'm dealing with cancer, uh, von Hippel-Lindau disease to be exact. But I want to talk about something interesting, and I guess you can consider this like a part two to my Yu -Gi -Oh! Is Yu-Gi-Oh! Dying video. Um, but I called up my best friend today of like over 25 years now, and he was telling me how he went to one of our local card shops to look at some magic stuff he's been getting into magic. And he said that these two little kids walked in with their parents and they saw these Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the display case. And the kids said, and I quote, who plays Yu-Gi-Oh anymore? And my best friend told me this because he's like, bro, if you were there, like you could have schooled them on like who still plays Yu-Gi-Oh. But after I got off the phone with him, I started thinking like, if this is the future like generation of like what kids think about Yu-Gi-Oh, like who plays Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. It kind of makes me worried for the future of the game. And I'm not trying to like be clickbaity or the end of the world here. It's just that when you look at who's into Yu-Gi-Oh, the majority, I think that 99% of people would agree that the majority of Yu-Gi-Oh fans are older, whether it's teenagers, adults, what have you. And for many different reasons, people are into Yu-Gi-Oh. I've heard stories of people saying, I got into Yu-Gi-Oh because my friend was into it. I've heard stories of people like, I got into Yu-Gi-Oh because of the original Duel Monsters anime. I've heard people say, I got into Yu-Gi-Oh because it's a cool game. I never watched the anime. And even one of my friends who works at a local card shop, he's like, I can't watch the anime because it's just garbage. I just enjoy the game for what it is. Which is very interesting. But to hear, at least from secondhand, to hear two little kids say who plays Yu-Gi-Oh anymore is just really weird and kind of crazy to think about because at least in my 16 years of playing competitive I can count maybe on both my hands how many little kids or how many times I've been to an event and seen little kids like there has not been a single time that I have ever been to a YCS and seen like a little kid who you know was new to the game the only little kid I can think of that I've seen in events who was actually like really good was Ben Leverett, um, which Ben Leverett, I don't even know if he even plays the game anymore, but Ben Leverett, I think that's his name. For those of you who don't know, was like a little kid who was like a prodigy. Like he was kicking ass and dragging duels left and right. And then when he got too old for that, he started playing in the actual like events and stuff, not just the dragon duels and like started kicking ass left and right there. Like it was absolutely insane back in the day. I don't even know if he even plays the game anymore, but like Ben Leverett's like the one kid I know that was like way younger than me that was doing really well at the game but now like I go to regionals and stuff and like I see teenagers young adults some people my age maybe they're like a couple years younger than me and for reference I'm 27 years old but I never see little kids and like the last time that I actually saw little kids playing in like a regionals or even like a locals was when I went to Kissimmee and I want to say was it tier element tier zero format maybe it was later after that but I saw these two little kids with their parents. They're like brother and sister. And of course, they were at fucking table 500. Like they were scrubs. But like outside of that, it's usually just teenagers or young adults. So it makes you wonder like if little kids now are saying who plays Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Like Yu-Gi-Oh's crap. Like they're going to go play Pokemon Magic, whatever. It kind of makes you wonder where the game's going to be in like a decade or so. And again, I'm not trying to say like Yu-Gi-Oh's dying or Yu-Gi-Oh's falling off. I'm not saying anything like that. Because everybody has their own local card shop scene like maybe in your part of the world there's a bunch of little kids that go to your locals and like the game is is thriving well or you're like me where the youngest kid i think at my locals is like 
15, 16 years old, if that. Whereas everybody else is just older or like they're my age or a little bit younger or older even. And so there's not really that influx of little kids. Now, granted, I think anybody will tell you this. Yu-Gi-Oh! is the most complicated card game to learn. Like between the big juggernauts, that being Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! I consider it to be the three big juggernauts of TCG card games. Yu-Gi-Oh! is definitely the hardest one to learn. You know, you have to think about all the summoning mechanics. We've got Links, Fusion, Pendulum, Succeeds, your Synchros, all that stuff. That's the hardest to learn. Whereas in Magic, you've had the same rules for like, what, 30 years now, I think, the game's been around? I think it's been around since like, what, 96, 95, something like that. It's been around even since before I was born. I'm born in 1996. The game's been around for a long time. You have the same rules. They're not really changing up a lot of things. You have summoning sickness on turn one. The creatures can't attack whatever. You don't have summoning sickness on turn one. It's just turn one. You can't conduct your battle phase. (laughs) And so then you have something like Pokemon that has the fusion mechanic. And apparently the fusion mechanic isn't even really used anymore. At least from what I understand. So you don't really have any sort of new mechanics to learn. It's just, hey, here's your Pokemon. Here is HP. Once your opponent takes all six of your prize cards, you lose the ball game. Like... That's just how Pokemon works. Whereas in Yu-Gi-Oh, you have an ever-evolving ban list. You've got all these different summoning mechanics. And then you've got little kids being like, who plays Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, bro? Like, I'm going to go on over here and play with my Charizard and shit. Granted, I don't know if those kids were there for Pokemon or what have you. But it just goes to show what possibly a somewhat decent majority size of people in the world, whether it's a young adult, young kid, whatever, might be thinking about Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, what is it going to take to get those little kids into the game? Now, is that to say that Yu-Gi-Oh! needs to be worrying about this? Not necessarily, no. I mean, you look at the numbers of events. You know, you look at, what was it, YCS Dortmund that had to split up into two different events. YCS Dortmund 1 and 2 because there were that many people trying to get into the event. That goes to show that the game is thriving. Um, You know, God, I think back to YCS Orlando, which was like 2010. There was maybe four to 500 people at that YCS. Like, that would be considered a really small YCS now. But it was so fun. Now, you wouldn't see YCS that small. You would see maybe 1,000, 2,000 people, you know, at a YCS now in, like, North Carolina, what have you. So, you have that, you know, going for you. But it just really made me wonder, like, what is the future of the game? Is Yu-Gi-Oh going to have to change with the times again? Whether it's adding another summoning mechanic or having set rotation in the game or having something to get those little kids enticed in the game. I know for me, it was the original anime, you know, seeing Yami Yugi kicking some ass and dropping Slifer the Sky Dragon out on people and, you know, uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, you know, all that stuff. That's what got me into the game, but that's not everybody. Some people got into it with 5Ds, which I think is actually kind of cool because 5Ds was actually a really good anime. Uh, But some of these card games don't have an anime and they just get into it because their friends get them into it or... Because they think the game just as a concept is cool. You know, I've only ever met one person in my 16 years of playing this game competitively. Of one person saying, I got into this game just because of the card game itself. Not because of the anime. Usually it's the anime, at least for you, that drives people into playing the game. So... Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Am am I, you know, the odd one out here for thinking that Yu-Gi-Oh! might have a problem? Again, I'm not saying it's going to be like in a year from now it's going to have a problem. Maybe this might be another 10 or another 25 years down the road where people are like, who plays Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore? Yu-Gi-Oh! is old school. Like, I want to play Magic. I want to play Pokemon. I want to play Kaijudo, Card Fight Vanguard. (laughs) What the fuck ever. Uh, Or Force of Will or whatever card game that just died. I can't remember the name right now. But, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. It feels good to be back.